So Michael, a very warm welcome to the club. How good is it for you to be here at Pompey? Yeah, it's really good, really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's a great opportunity for me. Uh, it's a new challenge. Uh, it all happened quite quickly over the last sort of four or five days or so, but delighted to be down here and, and, and looking forward to getting going. Looking at your career, you've played mainly as a winger, but you can operate in the number 10 role. Is that something that you've got your set, sights set on? I think so. I think from, from playing in this division before, I've, I've, I've obviously played this position as a 10 or out wide in, in a team that's got promoted um, the last three seasons. So I'm looking forward to bringing my, my sort of game to try and help the team to try and, to try and be up there at the top of this division where it should be. So I think I feel there's, there's quite a lot I can give, but also I just want to come in and try and try and help the team as much as I can. You're obviously joining us after your departure from Wigan. We've all seen the, the headlines of what's going on at that club at the moment. What was it like as a, as a player being there as the club was going through that? I think it's, it's, it's difficult because you're seeing people lose their jobs and um, things change dramatically. I think it's the club was 13th in the championship, lost one game in 15 and, and dramatically it, the, because the, the way that the owners acted, the club ends up in administration and relegation. And, and to see the club how it is today after spending five years there is really tough and um, it's one of them situations you just hope they, see, they come out the other side and, and there's a lot of good people there so hopefully it all works out for them and, and they have a good season this season but I'm, I'm delighted to be down there and new, like I said five years up there it's a new challenge for me to come here. Yeah it's one thing I was going to say you know you, you finished mid-table in the championship you had a, a good season so it must have been a, a really tough one to take and you must feel like yourself and the rest of the squad that you had there are all championship players. I think it's, it's one of them situations you never really expect it to happen. It, it sort of came across really quickly when, when we found out and um, as players all you can really do is go and play and, and that's what as a group we try to do. We try to lift each other through the, through the, through the hard times and, and try and help each other out when we could and, and that we, we ended up finishing 13th really but obviously as a result of the points deduction ended up going down so it, it's a shame and it's it's tough on the club and tough on the people at the clubs like I said I hope they come out the other side but um, at this level I feel there's a lot I can give at this level and and hopefully I can come down to Portsmouth and help out. Looking back a bit further on your career as well you've played under Kenny Jacket before at Wolves was that a big factor in coming back here having that relationship with the gaffer? Yeah I think so I think obviously him him and Joe Gallen um, Spoke to them sort of back the back end of last week, and uh, I knew Tommy Naylor from Derby, so I had a good chat with him just to see what the club was like and stuff. So um, it, it's a big part of it. I, I sort of know how they want to work, and um, under them, I, we, I ended up getting promoted before out of League One with Wolves, and, and I played a lot of the games when I was there. So it's, it's a great opportunity for me. Um, I did have a quick chat with them over the weekend, and things got finalised pretty quickly, and, and I was managed to travel down today and get sorted. So now I'm really happy. Yeah, and in terms of what they've said to you, what are the, the sort of targets and the ambitions that they've set for the coming season? I think, yeah, I think you look at the size of the club, the, the manner in which the way the club acts, the, you always look at it as a big club in this division and, and ultimately the, the aim is to get out of this division and obviously just look an outsider looking in over the last couple of years, it's sort of getting to the playoffs and, and not quite making it. So hopefully this year it can, it can be a, a successful season and, and try and push to get back up to the championship because that's where a lot, a lot of the boys should be playing the football out in this team. You've won the League One title three times by my account, so you'll know exactly what it takes to, to be successful in this division. I think it's, it's a matter of winning when you're not playing well, winning when you're playing well. Just sort of, when, I think in this division, when times get a little bit tough, it's, it's picking up as many points as you can and, and ultimately beating your rivals when you play them because that's a big sucker punch for teams when you're playing teams around you and you beat them and, and they go away, think, or, you, or you pull away and get a bit of a points gap and they go, well, they've gone now. And uh, it's just one of them divisions where it's, like you said, it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday because of the Cups and you've got to have a decent squad together and everyone's got to pull in the right direction. And like you said, in the over the course of the winter it's important that you all stick together and try and pick up as many points as you can and, and hopefully it sees you over the line but like I said it's a tough division but I've got the experience to get out of it. Yeah and in terms of your experience playing for Wolves and Wigan in League One really sort of sleeping giants do you get that same feel coming here to Pompey? Yeah definitely like I was, obviously we were speaking before the interview and come down here with Wigan and we, we got rolled over on, on TV and every time I've played here like I've not really had a good experience playing against Portsmouth but you can just see that it's a sleeping giant and and hopefully with the, when the fans are hopefully allowed back in when it's safe to do so, you can get the place rocking again and, and try and, like I said, be at the top end of this division and, and hopefully just try and get over the line. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a sleeping giant and I want to be a part of the project. Well, we hope you get some positive experiences at Fratton Park soon and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.